My name is Lisa. I'm a stay-at-home mom, living happily with my hard-working husband Noah and our adorable daughter Madison. Despite Noah's busy schedule, he always makes time for family. When he comes home, he enjoys playing with Madison and even helps with bath time. Madison, being an energetic little girl, loves to play and chat about everything. Guess what, mom? I can do a somersault all by myself without daddy's help. Really? That's amazing, Madison. Pretty soon, you'll be able to do a backward roll too, I bet. At kindergarten we do gymnastics together, but Kentaro can do backward rolls easily, and Eiko and I still can't. It's impressive that you can do it without daddy's help. You couldn't do it well before, but you've worked hard. I'm proud of you, Madison. Eve? This is my husband Noah and our daughter Madison. Our home is always filled with happiness like this. Then one day, Madison, you're going to be a big sister. Mommy has a baby in her tummy. You have a little brother or sister. Really? It's true. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, though. In a few months, you'll be a big sister in Madison. Well, it's amazing that I'll have a little brother or sister. When can I meet the baby? I want to meet them soon. Can you hear me, baby? It's your big sister, Madison. When we told Madison about my pregnancy, she was overjoyed. Seeing her so excited made me feel emotional, but I held back my tears. After that, Noah and I started considering something. I've been offered a promotion. I want to be with you because of your condition. But maybe you would feel more comfortable going back to your parents' place this time. A promotion? That's amazing. Congratulations, Noah. Thanks. I wasn't expecting it so soon. Maybe next year. But here we are. So at first, I'll be really busy. And it might be unsettling for Madison too. And you'll have a lot on your plate, right? So, I think it's best for you to go back to your parents' place. Yes, thinking about it, going back to my parents' place does seem like the best option for us. Since Noah will be busy with his promotion for a while, I've decided to go back to my parents' place for the delivery. After discussing it with my parents, we decided that Madison and I will stay with them for a while. A few months later. Oh, and maybe I'll take some chocolate snacks too. Oh, Madison. We can buy snacks at Grandma and Grandpa's house, can't we? You're right. I'll leave them here. Oh, I put your socks over there for you, Mom. Wow, thanks. I was just about to get them out. I'll carry all the heavy bags to the car for you. You're such a big help, Madison. It makes Mommy feel so much better. Thank you, Madison. This was the day we were returning to my parents' house, and Madison and I were busy getting ready. My parents were coming to pick us up, so we were waiting for their call. Once we finished packing and were waiting with Madison, the phone rang. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Hey there. Long time no see. How have you been? Oh, sister-in-law. It's been a while. I've been well, thank you. Is something going on? Actually, I'm on my way to your place right now. We're about to go on a trip, my husband and I. Can you look after our two kids and two dogs while we're away? What? Um, I'm afraid that's not possible. Besides, I'm about to leave the house myself. Huh, something more important than your sister-in-law. You just need to change your plans. Do it quickly. Even if you say that, I can't just take care of them without any prior notice. Plus, it's not about my plans. I'm about to have a baby. You're in the last month. That's stable enough, you can do it. No. I don't feel comfortable looking after energetic kids and dogs in my condition. You'll be fine. You're having your second child. Just be confident. Plus, it's a good time. Moms get discharged from the hospital quickly after the second baby. No, it's not about confidence or the number of kids. You can do it. I guarantee 100% that you'll be fine. That's not a guarantee I can rely on. Oh, stop being so difficult. Just take them in already. I'm really sorry, but I'm going back to my parents' house for my delivery. I can't take care of them. If you can't find anyone else, you'll have to cancel your trip. The call wasn't from my parents but from Noah's sister, Hazuki. She suddenly asked me to look after her kids and dogs because she was going on a trip, which really surprised me. Given the circumstances, it was impossible, so I firmly explained the situation and declined, but... What? Are you kidding me? 
This is a rare trip for just my husband and me, and you're telling us to cancel it because of you. Even if you say that, I can't take care of them. Then just postpone your trip home. It won't make a big difference. It's not about whether I'm home or not. As I said, I'm in the last month of my pregnancy. I'm telling you, it's not a big deal. You're overthinking it. We just have different views. In any case, I can't take care of them. Hey, aren't you being a bit too high and mighty? Who do you think is more important, you or me? It's not about that. I'm saying it's just not possible. Stop acting so spoiled. I'm asking you for a favor, and that's how you respond. Hazuki was very angry, but I ignored her and hung up the phone. After reporting the situation to Noah, my parents called, and Madison and I went to my parents' house. Madison and my parents were happy to see each other after a long time. A week later, Hazuki and her husband suddenly showed up at my parents' house. We had a terrible time because of you. Get on your knees right now and apologize sincerely. Sister-in-law, Ujiharu, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Didn't Noah tell you? He didn't mention anything. Did something happen? We left the kids and dogs at your house and went on our trip. We turned off our phones to enjoy our time together. You went on the trip in that situation. We used tickets we won at a department store and stayed at a luxury hotel. Oh, I see. But those tickets were just meal vouchers. We got a huge bill when we checked out. That's just your own fault for not checking. We spent 1 million yen on gourmet food and fine wine. We had to put it on a credit card and come home. And then, Noah and our parents were furious with us. I got yelled at too, all because of you. Take responsibility. Hey, what are you doing here? Hazuki and her husband, Ujiharu, had an awful trip due to a misunderstanding. They were trying to blame me for it. Well, well, if it isn't Noah. Why is Noah here? That's my line. Why are you two at my wife's parents' house? Obviously, because we have business here. What are you doing here, Noah? I figured you'd come here and cause trouble. So I took the day off and came here yesterday. Just as I suspected. Noah, is it true that you and our parents got really mad? I had no idea. I was going to tell you today. You seemed a bit tired yesterday, so I decided not to bring it up. I see. Thank you for being considerate, Noah. Of course, it's only natural to look after you and our baby. Stop with the lovey de stuff. You stop making a scene. Showing up unannounced like this is incredibly rude to Lisa's parents, don't you think? We're the ones who are inconvenienced. Noah, you only defend her because she's your wife. But we've been seriously inconvenienced by her. Lisa did nothing wrong, the inconvenience is on your end. Who in their right mind asks a woman in her last month of pregnancy to look after two energetic kids? And you called us at the last minute. Normally, you'd discuss such an important matter well in advance. We knew you'd say no if we asked ahead of time. What? Everyone else already turned us down. You were our last resort. Hazuki mentioned that everyone turned them down. I couldn't quite grasp the meaning of her words. I was the last resort. What do you mean? She's been doing the same thing to her mom friends. And quite often. That's why all the mom friends dislike her now. All of them? Yeah. When I went to apologize to the mom friends, they told me the same thing. Nobody would take the kids, so they dumped them on you. I got lectured by our parents, had to pay one million yen, and now I'm isolated. It's the worst. I feel absolutely miserable. Well... The one million yen was because you misread the ticket. What? You dragged me into this mess too. Don't act like a victim. You looked at the ticket too, didn't you? So, it's not just my fault. What did you say? Alright, both of you, stop it. Ujiharo, it's your job to keep Razuki in check. You supported your wife, so you're just as guilty. As expected of my brother, Noah, you understand me well. Even if Noah defends you, he can't make up for your stupidity. Oh, I'll return that compliment right back to you. You're such an infuriating woman. I can't stand you. Fine by me. You're reaping what you sow. Blaming it all on me is too much. You, how dare you? How dare you? Enough. If you want to fight, take it outside. Noah, are you kicking us out? Isn't that a bit harsh? Hey, you loud people, you're being too noisy. Hazuki and Ujiharu were arguing so loudly that Madison, exasperated, spoke up. Being told off by young Madison, the two were taken aback. Well, who does this kid think she is? She's so cheeky. 
calling us embarrassing. How dare she? I said it because you are embarrassing. Fuck. She's so not cute. And anyway, kids should. Hold it right there. Whoa. Don't shout so suddenly. No, I have something to say. Madison is the cutest and most innocent child in the world. Oh, really? Saying such things to me. She only said what she saw. Just because we are family doesn't mean you can behave like this in front of people. It's very embarrassing. Oh, now suddenly you're all bold. You usually stay so quiet. Yeah, you're only acting tough because Noah's here. No, this is who I am all the time. Is that so? Yes. Do you think any parent wouldn't get angry if their child was spoken to like that? Lisa is fiercer than a thunderstorm when it comes to Madison. And usually, Lisa is just being polite because you're my sister and brother-in-law. She's not quiet. She's just not rude like you. Hey, that makes it sound like I'm rude. Not makes it sound, you are rude. Oh, so you have to side with Lisa, or she'll give you hell later. Nope. Mommy and Daddy are always lovey-dovey. Exactly. Right? Well, Ujiharu and I are a famous lovebird couple too. I know about lovebirds. The daddy lovebird doesn't help with the babies. What? Is that true? When the babies are born, the daddy lovebird goes away. Yeah, Ujiharu, you used to go out drinking all the time when the kids were little, didn't you? Madison and Noah's pointed comments left Hazuki and Ujiharu taken aback. Oh, for heaven's sake. Both of you are so annoying. Madison must have gotten that from Noah, right? Or maybe from Lisa, who seems unexpectedly strict. Thank you for the lovely compliment. We couldn't be happier that our adorable daughter takes after us, right? You're just pretending to be happy, trying to act duff. Not at all. I don't care what a couple of idiots like you say. Idiots, huh? This is pointless. You're the real idiots here. We don't want to catch your stupidity, so we never want to see you again. That's perfect. I have some good news for you. What? That said, you have a debt you haven't paid back. How do you know about that? Because I talked to them. You said you never want to see us again. But even if you wanted to, you won't be able to. What are you talking about? That said, since Suzuki and Ujiharu aren't planning to repay the debt, we'll make them work it off while living here. Hearing the unexpected news from Noah, Hazuki and Ujiharu were shocked. Living in. You've got to be joking. Why would we have to do that? You borrowed the money with a promise to repay it. It's only fair. It sounds stuff, but do your best from now on. Yeah, good luck. Show some emotion. I don't care what happens to you too. Time to face the music. But living in, what about our jobs? Knowing my in-laws, they probably have everything sorted out already. If we live like that, we won't be able to shop or travel anymore. You shouldn't have been playing around with dad hanging over your heads. We'll pay the money back. Please, talk to them for us, Lisa, Noah. No way. There's no reason for us to help you with that. Don't be so cold-hearted. It's absolutely impossible for us to live and work there. Please, do something. It's too late to beg now. We agree with what our parents have decided. Please, somehow, help us. Please, we're begging you. Mommy and Daddy said no, so it's no. You're allowed, so get out of our house now. Goodbye. Hazuki and Uchiharu had borrowed money from Noah's parents for various reasons and never repaid it. The living arrangement prepared by the in-laws was at a local temple known for its strict training. The temple was also used as a place for rehabilitation, where they had to wake up earlier than the head priest, prepare meals for everyone, be the last to go to bed, and take turns patrolling at night. There was no leisure time, with the strict eye of the head priest always watching. Thus, Hazuki and Uchiharu's self-indulgent life, which they thought was paradise, turned into a rigorous environment where no slacking was allowed. They now lived a miserable life, repaying Noah's parents bit by bit every month. As for me... I'm home. Oh. You're home early. What's going on? I finished my rounds and came straight home. I see. Madison's kindergarten bus will be here soon. Perfect timing. How about we go surprise Madison together? Great idea. She'll be so happy. I'm whom? Oh, Daddy's here. Well, Madison, you're back already. I was just about to come get you. The bus got here earlier than usual. Daddy, let's play together. All right, let's play. Noah came home early from work, which made Madison extremely happy. We decided to go out for dinner as a family that evening, so I took it easy that day. 
Hazuki and Ujiharu's children and pets were taken in by Ujiharu's parents. They live with Ujiharu's sister and her husband, and are being raised with lots of love, almost like their own children. As for us, we're soon going to be a family of four. The thought of our home becoming even more lively fills me with excitement every day. I am grateful to Madison and Noah for always making me feel happy, and I am determined to do my best to keep our family smiling and ensure this happiness lasts forever. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.